Hi, my name is Trevor Goldsmith from West Career and Technical Academy. Support for today's Varsity Quiz is provided by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's Team Crafty yeah. and Team Battencourt. Yeah. This is the all-star match of Varsity Quiz. Welcome to the Silver League All-Star Match of Varsity Quiz's 49th season. I'm honored to be your host, Nathan Tannenbaum. Tonight we have superstars from some of the 14 high school teams that competed throughout the year. Student players randomly assigned to two All-Star teams. This match a little different than our regular season matches. Tonight we're going to have four timed rounds of 20 toss-up questions. Each question in this lighthearted match is worth five points. A reminder to our teams to please speak clearly so the judges can hear and understand your answers and to please wait until you're recognized before answering. Now let's meet our players starting with Team Craffy. Introduce yourself, tell us what grade you're in and what school you're from. Hi, my name is Ben. I'm a senior at Palo Verde High School. Thank you, Ben. Hi, my name's Trevor. I'm a senior at West Career and Technical Academy. Thank you, Trevor. And? Hello, I'm Matthew Lopez and I am a junior from Valley High School. All right, Matthew, and? Oh, hi, I'm Roy. I'm a junior at Liberty High School. Thanks, Roy. That's Team Craffy this evening. <laughs> now let's meet our players from Team Betancourt, starting with Ishan. Hi, I'm Ishan. I'm a sophomore at Clark High School. Thank you, Ishan. Uh, what up? I'm Tim Gutterman, a senior at Coronado. Let's get it! <laughs> All right, Tim. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm a senior at Arborview High School. Thank you, Kevin. I'm Sean Nagy. I'm a senior. I hail from Palo Verde High School. All right, that's Team Betancourt. <laughs> now, questions in this first as well as the third round are all about the fictional worlds created by J.R.R. Tolkien. Now, let's play Varsity Quiz. When Bilbo finally agrees to join the Dwarves' expedition to the Lonely Mountain, how many members are there in total? <phone rings> Team Betancourt, Ishan? Three. Incorrect. <phone rings> Team Craffy, Trevor? <laughs> Thirteen. Yes. Name Galadriel's husband. <phone rings> Team Betancourt, Tim? Elrond. Incorrect. <phone rings> Team Crafty, Matthew? Caliborn. Yes. Uh, who finally succeeds in killing Smog by means, and that is Team Crafty, Matthew? Bilbo Baggins. Incorrect. By means of the Black Arrow. <phone rings> uh, Betancourt, Sean? Aragorn. No, we were looking for Bard. Next question, what city of men does Smog, uh, Betancourt, Kevin? Uh, Dale. Yes. Over what forest does Galadriel rule? <phone rings> Team Crafty, Ben? Lothlorien. That's correct. Good for you. What object uh, taken when Isengard falls does Mary make the huge mistake of looking into? <phone rings> Team Crafty, Ben? The Eye of Sauron. That's not it. Incorrect. <laughs> Betancourt, Ishan? The Enchanted Mirror. No, it's the Palantir. Who is killed when the plummeting body of the dead smog crashes in the boat carrying him and his stolen treasure? <phone rings> Betancourt, Tim? Donald Trump. No. <phone rings> Crafty, Ben? The head leader of Rivertown. It's the master of Lake Town, but you knew that. What name does Bilbo give himself when he's speaking with smog? Betancourt, Tim? A friend? No. Crafty, Roy? The thief? No, it's Barrel Rider. Is it all coming back to you guys? Name the daughter of Elrond with whom Aragorn has fallen. Uh, Crafty, Roy? Arwen. Yes, there you go. Name the director of the Lord of the Rings movie. Crafty, Trevor? Peter Jackson? Yes, sir. What must Mary struggle to light in Gondor to call for Rohan's aid? Betancourt, Tim? The beacon? No. The first of a series of fire towers. Next question. Name the giant female arachnid that Gollum hopes. Crafty Matthew. Shalob. Yes. What happens to Bilbo's elvish sword, Glamdring, whenever it senses? Betancourt Ishan. It starts glowing. We need more. It glows blue. That is correct. So Betancourt gets those points. And we'll clear and move on to the next question. What name does Saruman give to the new race of orcs he creates? Crafty, Roy? Urukai. Yes. Name the ant who takes Merry and Pippin. Crafty, Ben? 
tree beard. Yes. What's the name of Bilbo's home? Crafty Trevor? The Shire. No. Betancourt Kevin? A bag end. Yes. Arwen has a dream about her future with Aragorn just before she's to leave with Rivendell and with the leave Rivendell with the elves. Name one of the two key elements of her dream. Crafty Roy? Aragorn dies. That's one. The other one was she has a son with him, so that is a point for Crafty. Who was able to destroy one of the Nazgûl during the battle on the plains of Gondor? Crafty Roy? Eowyn? Yes. Name the two characters who have an ongoing challenge of who can kill the greatest number. Crafty Roy? Gimli? I think that is correct. The other one was Legolas. Uh, what name identifies the elven bread which helps keep Frodo and Sam alive as they struggle to reach uh, Betancourt Tim? Lembus? Yes. That is the end of round one. We take a short break in our All-Star match to take this opportunity to honor the Varsity Quiz Coach of the Year. It's Major Todd Hook from El Dorado High School. Congratulations. We got this nice certificate. There you go. Now, congratulations, Todd, and thank you for all the work that you've done through the years with all of your students and with Varsity Quiz. Congratulations. The score at the end of round one, Team Crafty has 50 points to Team Betancourt's 20. And we think we should take a moment to explain the names of these all-star teams. Team Betancourt, that's named for Carlos Betancourt. Carlos was a varsity quiz coach for 16 years, served as a moderator for both Junior Varsity Quiz and Varsity Quiz, and inaugural member of the Varsity Quiz Hall of Fame. Since his 2012 retirement from the CCSD, Carlos continues to volunteer his time for both Junior Varsity Quiz and Varsity Quiz. In fact, he's here right now. Thank you, Carlos. Team Craffy is named for Dick Craffy, a member of the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas, the honorary varsity quiz head judge, volunteering to judge matches twice a week for 32 years. Dick, also an inaugural member of the Varsity Quiz Hall of Fame, as well as a member of the CCSD Hall of Fame. And Dick could not be with us today, so we want to give a shout out to Dick. If you're watching at home, thank you. And that's the Team Craffy. Before we begin round two, we have new players for both teams, so we want to meet them. We'll start with Team Craffy. Would you tell us your name, your grade, and your school? Hi there, my name is Mason. I am a senior at Northwest Career and Technical Academy. Thanks, Mason. Hi, I'm Jonavi, and I'm a junior at Liberty High School. Thanks, Jonavi. I'm Harrison Denning, and I'm currently a senior at Arborview High School. Thanks, Harrison. My name's Edsel Bester, and I'm in 12th grade, and I go to Valley High School. Awesome. Thank you, Edsel. That's Team Craffy. Thank you, guys. And our players for Team Betancourt. Hi, I'm Brandon, and I'm a senior at Coronado High School. Thanks, Brandon. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm a senior at West CTA. All right, Peter. Hi, I'm Gordon. I'm a senior at Northwest Career and Technical Academy. All right, Gordon. Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm a junior at the Las Vegas Academy of the Arts. Thank you, Zach, and that's Team Betancourt. Now coaching the All-Stars tonight, the coach is from the top two teams this season. For Team Craffy, the coach is Chuck Bean. And for Team Betancourt, Matt Haberman. Now let's play Varsity Quiz. Its name means total control of producing or selling a good or service. Team Betancourt, Zach. Monopoly? Yes. In 1931, which U.S. president signed the bill that made the star-spangled Team Betancourt, Brandon. Hoover. Yes. In 1997, Venus Williams became the first African American in the U.S. Open tennis final since which woman in 1958? Initials A G. <phone rings> Team Betancourt, Brandon. Attorney General. No. <laughs> Team Craffy, Jonavi. Alyssa Goldman. Oh, that's a good guess. Althea Gibson, the correct answer. Next, in 1999, Pope John Paul II waived the five-year wait after death to begin the process of possible sainthood for which 1979 Nobel Peace Prize winner known for her work with India's poor and dying? Team Crafty Edsel. Uh, Mother Teresa. Yes, sir, that's correct. What's the grammatical function of the indefinite pronoun everyone in the following sentence? The preacher told everyone he met the story. Crafty Jonavi? Direct object. I don't think that's correct. 
Team Betancourt. Peter? Preposition. No, it's an indirect object. Next question. Identify the adventures of, uh, adventurers of Greek mythology whose name Bret Hart borrows in portraying California gold miners as the blank of 49. <laughs> and that's Betancourt. Peter? Uh, San Francisco. No, even though the miners had no Jason to lead them on their quests. Crafty Harrison? Muhammad? No, we're talking about the Argonauts. Next question. Robert's Rules of Order, written by an American Army engineer, established procedures for conducting formal meetings. What is such procedure called? Betancourt, Brandon? Drilling? No. We're looking for parliamentary procedure. Next question. Humans have a four-chambered heart. How many chambers do frog and amphibian? Uh, Crafty Harrison? Two. Incorrect. Frog and amphibian hearts. Uh, Betancourt Brandon? Three. Yes, sir. What was the physical handicap of the poet Homer, the author of the Iliad and the Odyssey? Crafty Edsel? He was blind. That is correct. Yes, sir. Identify the dance of the gypsies in Spain, characterized by hammering of the heels, clacking of castanets accompanied. Betancourt Zach? Flamenco? Yes. According to the proverb, who can't be choosers, since those, Crafty Harrison? Beggars. You got it. Phrase that refers to the system of maintaining a balance or separation of powers among the legislative. Uh, Betancourt, Peter? Checks and balances. Yes, sir. In 1995, the Coast Guard stopped using which form of communication? Crafty Mason? Sonar. Incorrect. Uh, Betancourt, Gordon? Telegraph. No, we're looking for the old Morse code. Identify the American inventor and cabinet maker after whom the railway sleeping car is named. Betancourt, Brandon? Fulton. No. Crafty Harrison? Mr. Carr? No. <laughs> George Mortimer Pullman. Groans all around. Which coastal city in Georgia did London-born General uh, Betancourt, Brandon? Savannah. Yes. While studying the disease beriberi, which substances did Casimir Funk discover in 1912 and name with the... Uh, Crafty Edsel? Thiamine. Yes. Name the emperor of Ethiopia from 1930 to 1974. Betancourt, Brandon? Abyssinia. No. Haile Selassie. Next question. Oh, we're out of time. After two rounds, Team Crafty has 70 points. Team Betancourt has 50 points. Before we move on to round three, Team Crafty is the same as it was in round one. We wish you guys luck. And Team Betancourt has two new players. So, Tyler, would you tell us your name, your grade, and your school? All right, I'm Tyler Jarley, and I go to Coronado. I'm a senior. Awesome. Thank you, Tyler. And? Uh, my name's Izzy. I'm a sophomore at the Las Vegas Academy of the Arts. Thank you, Izzy. And uh, Tim and Sean, we've seen you guys before. Welcome back. Now, once again, we are doing questions from the fictional mind of J.R.R. Tolkien. It is a timed round, and it begins as I read this question. What name is given to the horse lords and warriors of Rohan? And that's Betancourt, Sean. The Dark Riders. Judge, I don't think we can take that one, no. Team Crafty, Ben? The Nazgul? No, it was the Rohrim, or the Riders of Rohan. Next question. During their evening at Bilbo's house, what objects do the dwarves throw around? Uh, Crafty, Roy? Plates. Yes. What job title do the dwarves give Bilbo? Uh, Crafty, Roy? Burglar. Yes. The Lord of the Rings trilogy landscape scenes were filmed entirely. Crafty, Trevor? New Zealand. Yes. Name the knighted British actor who plays Gandalf. Crafty, Matthew? Sir Ian McKellen. Yes. Name the British actor who plays Gollum in all six films. Crafty, Matthew? Andy Serkis. All right, we're getting there. What's the name of the Hobbit homeland? Betancourt, Sean? The Shire. Yes. Who sets off the final unexpected blast of fireworks at Bilbo's birthday bash? Crafty, Roy? Sam? No. Betancourt, Tim? Peregrine Took? No, it was Merry and Pippin. Name the pale orc chieftain of Moria who leads Sauron's army and whose obsession is to destroy Thorin Oakenshield and all his dwarves. 
We've stumped him. Oh, not yet. Betancourt, Tim? The Scourge. No. <laughs> I think that's after the bell or before the bell? Okay. Before the bell? That was after the bell. We're looking for Azog. Name the symbol of Gondor that appears on its flag in uh, Traffy, Roy? White tree. That's a, okay, very good, yes. What character says, put it away, I'm sorry, sorry you came, you come in. Craffy, Ben? Bilbo Baggins. Yes. Which of the dwarves falls in love with Tori? Craffy, Ben? Oh, it's Gimli's dad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish the question. Which of the dwarves falls in love with Toriel, the elven female warrior? Betancourt, Tyler? Dopey. No. <laughs> We're looking for Keeley. Next question. Name the British actor who gave Smog an eerie, arrogant Betancourt, Tim? Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes. Name the imposing elven king of Mirkwood who rides into battle riding an enormous stag. Craffy Roy? That's Odile. No. Betancourt, Tim? Elrond. No, Thranduil. Next question. What do both Sauron and Frodo lose when each loses the one ring? Crafty, Trevor? A finger. That's right. What character says, you suffer. I see it day by day. Are you sure you do not suffer needlessly? There are other ways, Frodo. Betancourt, Tyler? Frodo's psychologist. No. <laughs> Crafty, Trevor? Samwise Gamgee. Pardon me? Samwise? No, it's Boromir. Next question. What hobbit maiden does Sam ultimately marry? Crafty Matthew? Rosie. Yes. What Oscar-winning actress plays the role of Galadriel? Betancourt, Tim? Kate Winslet. No. Crafty Matthew? Liv Tyler. No, it's Kate Blanchett. Uh, as the Fellowship approaches the border of Gondor while they're on the river, what giant sculptural feature do they see? Betancourt, Tim? A big statue. <laughs> no. Crafty, Trevor? The kings of Rohan? No. We were looking for the statues of two kings of Gondor. Uh, what does Gimli allow Aragorn to do at the peak of the orc attack on Helm's Deep? Crafty, Matthew? Throw him. Pardon me? Throw him. Very good. We've reached the end of all of our Tolkien-related questions. A hand for both teams. Going into our fourth and final round, the score, Team Craffy with 120 points to Team Betancourt's 60. Anything can happen. Before we begin, we do have a couple of new players for Team Craffy. Would you tell us your name, your grade, and what school you're from? Uh, hi, I'm Shri Jangali from Palo Verde High School, and I'm a senior. Excellent. Nice to have you here. And we have a familiar face, but tell us your name, your grade, and your school. Hey, Nate. I'm a senior at Ed W. Clark. And you, you are? Oh, Noah Cahill. There Sorry. you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Noah. And all of our players for Team Betancourt have been in in previous rounds, so good luck to both teams. And let's begin our final round of Varsity Quiz. Name the British Museum collection of classical Greek sculptures made under the supervision uh, Betancourt Ishan. The Elgin Marbles. Yes. What female American journalist turned author wrote Gone with the Wind? Crafty Noah. Well, oh, I, I, no, and we'll take that as a no answer. Betancourt, Ishan? Mitchell? Yes. Which small endocrine gland in humans produces a hormone that causes calcium to be removed from the bones and put into the blood? Betancourt, Ishan? Parathyroid? Yes. Give the name of the dog in Disney's animated adventure Coco, which is the same name as the Italian who wrote uh, Betancourt, is he? Dante? Yes. What's the name for the grassy area between the U.S. Capitol and Washington Monument where Betancourt, Ishan? The National Mall. Is that acceptable? Yes. All right. Uh, the th uh, three men won the 1990 Nobel Prize in Physics for finding what's thought to be nature's smallest particle. By what name are these basic building blocks of matter? Crafty, Jonavi? Adams. No. Uh, Betancourt, Ishan? Quarks. Yes. Which vegetable with large, dark green, edible leaves is the favorite food of Popeye the Sailor Man? Betancourt, Peter? Spinach. Yes, sir. Complete the following proverb. Don't put the blank before the horse. Uh, Betancourt, Ishan? Cart. Yes. Name the famous orator, political leader, and fundamentalist thinker who volunteered to assist the prosecution and represent the state in the 1925 Scopes trial. 
Betancourt, Ishan. William Jennings Bryan. Yes. Identify the most abundant marine sedimentary rock found in layers, often with uh, crafty Edsel. Sandstone? No, uh, often with layers of sandstone or limestone. Betancourt, Ishan. Basalt? No, we're looking for shale. Identify the American portrait painter whose unfinished Athenium portrait of George Washington. Betancourt, Ishan. Gilbert. Uh, that's a no answer, and we move on. A portrait of George Washington's head was adopted for the U.S. $1 bill. Crafty Edsel? Peter Kropotkin. No, it was Gilbert Stewart. Uh, identify the African-American novelist whose 1940 novel, Native Son, feature, feature uh, Betancourt, Ishan? Right. Yes. Two point charges are attracted to each other according to Coulomb's law. If the magnitude of one of the charges is doubled, What's the effect on the force of attraction? Crafty Noah? Doubled. Yes. Which South American country uses the soul as its monetary unit? Betancourt Izzy? Peru. Yes. In economics, which term designates a period of economic contraction? Crafty Noah? Recession. Yes. The book Primary Colors by an anonymous author is loosely based on the campaign of which U.S. president? Crafty Shrivarda? Uh, Herbert Hoover. No. Betancourt Peter. Barack Obama. No, it was Bill Clinton. Give the Taft administration's alliterative phrase used to designate the U.S. policy of promoting the interest of its citizens in other countries by encouraging U.S. investment abroad. Crafty Shrivarda. Uh, money something. No. Uh, Betancourt Ishan. Dollar diplomacy. Yes. What two-word Latin term literally meaning dark chamber is also Betancourt Izzy. Camera obscur Obscura. Yes. Name the religious group whose 2018 Super Bowl ad stirred controversy. Betancourt Kevin. Uh, the Church of Scientology. Yes. <laughs> On March 27, 1933, which country resigned from the League of Nations after having been branded Crafty Shrivarda? Japan. Yes. We are out of questions. <laughs> Let's find out who won. Our final score, Team Craffy hangs on with 135 points despite the strong comeback. Team Betancourt with 130, but congratulations to both teams and all of our students. So that's for bragging rights, but we do have a serious presentation to make here at the end of our All-Star match. Now you see uh, students from uh, both teams here because all of these students are finalists for the Howard Naylor Scholarship. One student could not be with us this evening. We want to give a shout out to uh, Carissa Grotjohn from Veterans Tribute, one of the scholarship finalists. But here we have Edsel Bester from Valley High School. Edsel, nice to see you here. Tim Gutterman from Coronado. Kevin Judkins from Arborview. And Sean Nagy from Palo Verde. Now to make the presentation of the Howard Naylor Scholarship from the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. Howard Naylor. Howard, it's all yours. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate that. And uh, at the end of the 49th season, of Varsity Quiz, the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas will be holding a luncheon in order to award the financial prizes that have been won throughout the year. With uh, two different leagues, with the Blue League, they are resuming, it is Moham, Mo Moapa Valley, they're getting $500 to their account. And for the Silver League, it's the Clark High School, they're getting $500 to their account. And then there's going to be a scholarship which I am going to uh, be very happy to give to one of the gentlemen sitting right here. And I have Sean Nagy. Sean Nagy is our Howard Naylor Scholarship winner. Thank you. Thank you. Howard, thank you. And thanks again to the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas for all your support for the varsity quiz. We're grateful to all the folks who make Varsity Quiz the success that it is. That includes all of the coaches, all of the students, their parents, their teachers, and a special thanks to everyone who helps in the administration of Varsity Quiz. And also a shout out to everybody here at Vegas PBS. That wraps up the season for this year. We'll see you next year for the golden anniversary season of Varsity Quiz on Vegas PBS. Good night.